Occasionally, it's not just us humans dogs can help. Sometimes they're on hand to help each other. In March 2015, puppies Bruce and Rebel were rescued by the RSPCA after they were found abandoned and living in their own mess near Christchurch in Dorset. Hardly the best start for these two friendly lurchers. The playful pair were taken to Millbrook Animal Centre. Go on, in. Up here. Go on in. But eight months on, they were still looking for their forever home. They're both really, really energetic dogs. Um, they're full of fun. They've been fantastic here, running around to go in the compound. Spruce's temperament, he's, he's more vocal. He likes to let you know that you're there, basically. He always run up to you, come and cuddle you, come and speak to you. He's one of those dogs who just want to be a lap dog. They just want to sit on you um, and just play the whole time. Um, and he's just great. He's been great fun. Rebel is a bit more... Um mad. Um, he loves to run around and um, play um, energetic and crazy. He makes all the staff laugh here. But it's just both really lovely dogs. They're inseparable. You know, they've known each other all their life from when they're from the first home, basically. Um, and they're pretty much joined at the hip. But sadly for Rebel, a vet checkup indicated something wasn't right with his eyesight. Unfortunately, when the vet did examine Rebel's eyes, they found that he did have retinal degeneration, which basically means that he's going to lose his eyesight um, within the next year or so. Progressive retinal degeneration is a genetic disease, and the condition tends to develop in pups between birth and about eight weeks old. The retina at the back of the eyes are made of tiny photoreceptors. Rebels are turning off one by one. It's such a sad thing because he's such a lovely, bouncy character um, and it, it's pretty sad to, to hear what, how his life will change. However, dogs are incredibly adaptable to the condition and can lead good lives relying upon their other senses. But thankfully, there's someone else offering a helpful paw, Bruce. Bruce needs to be there for, for him when that does happen. Over the next few months, Rebel's eyesight will fail. He will rely on Bruce being around like his very own guide dog to help him navigate his surroundings, wherever that may be. They're definitely inseparable. Um, they are like best friends and brothers at the same time. They're very attached to each other. We only wanted one dog at the time, but we were aware of their background and they'd been in RSPCA kennels for eight months. That's a long, long time. My heart went out to both of them. They'd had a, a terrible start. Once we saw them, that was it. <laughs> we fell in love with them. Rebel in particular lives up to his name. <laughs> he really is a rebel. Bruce is very loyal. He's very, very quiet, loves to sleep. The outcome has been that Rebel has cataracts in both eyes. The cataract in the right eye has now fully developed over the last two years, and now the cataract is forming in the left eye. At the present moment, he can still see out of the left eye, but we don't know how much. The great thing is that because Bruce and Rebel have been together all their life, I think in time to come, if Rebel was to lose his sight completely, which is highly likely, Bruce will be able to assist Rebel in finding his way. You can look after your brother, are you? They just love to run. They love to chase each other. And they love to chase anything that moves. <laughs> Rebel is so agile. To watch them run and play is an amazing thing.
Bruce and Rebel are very happy, contented dogs. They just love their new home. And myself and Christine love having them here as well. Good boy, yeah. Both dogs are now well-trained, very happy. And relaxed. And relaxed. <laughs> and we wish you the very best of luck, Bruce and Rebel.